Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. You may notice it's the Masterdoll screen. We have not seen this before on the Nim Nim channel. You've seen it on Twitch, but <laughs> you haven't seen it on the Nim Nim YouTube channel yet. There's been a good reason for that. I have come to the decision that if Konami does not want to give it an incentive to grind Masterdoll, I am going to have to make up my own, which is why I'm going to have to make my own challenges to make this game fun. The last thing we had to grind in this game was Duelist Cup, and this was a huge flop too. I'm pretty sure somebody cheated to win the whole thing by playing Xbox or something like that. But it's just a flawed system that was carried over from Duel Links, you know? You're, you're up against a whole bunch of account shares. There's just no feasible way you're going to actually, like, win things from playing... Like, what, you have to play 72 hours of just straight Yu-Gi-Oh? And then again, it only takes the first place player from that. So... <laughs> Congrats whoever won that one, I guess. There still is no competitive tournament play for Master Duel yet, and there really isn't any reason to grind the ladder, which is why I've got to come up for reasons of my own. Take note, I'm an embarrassingly low rank right now, Silver Tier 2, and it's going to look even worse when we get into Season 9 tomorrow. I'm going to put a challenge into my own hands, and that's climbing Season 9 under the new Forbidden Limit list, presumably from the Bronze rank where it'll bump me down to here, because I have <laughs> yet to play at all, really, this season. I'm going to grind all the way from the Bronze rank to Diamond 1. Thrilling and, you know innovative stuff i know right i haven't done it not that i don't think i'm not capable of it but i just haven't put the time into doing it so i want to give myself you know a little push a little bit of a uh, a goal here to do it myself i think there's a lot of content that can be made for master Duel, so i'm going to take you guys along with me for that uh we're going to try to do a little series here where we grind all the way from bronze to diamond one uh, i'm going to do a couple games off stream just to make some good content out of it and share it with you guys should be a really good time to hop in and you know explore the new forbidden in limited list speaking of which let's go over that real quick if i can find it uh the forbidden in limited list update this is all text let me see if i can find an image real quick i think a lot of people will find a reason to complain about anything but i think this new master ban list is pretty good it solves a lot of the problems that were present on the ladder before obviously true king of all calamities getting forbidden is huge if you looked at the uh the duelist cup the, the entire first page of like the top decks was virtual world playing calamities with the adventure engine i think the adventure engine it's still too new to get hit and i think it's fine honestly it's already pre-hit at two so i think it's perfectly fine to play with where it is but this card was oppressive and i'm really happy that it's finally gone that and also number 75 bamboo Boozling Gossip Shadow uh, gets rid of the wrong mini ad FTK. These big dumb floodgate monsters were banned, and then we also had, speaking of floodgates, Vanity's Emptiness and Imperial Order also forbidden. These cards were both at one, but I think as the Saki one ofs, they're definitely the worst of the bunch. Happy to see these two guards gone. And then Destiny Hero Celestial is a super interesting one because we just recently got access to the uh, Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer package. Not that it's still not playable, but the classic combination of Celestial Dasher is not what you're going to be able to do anymore to uh, ensure you get that additional advantage with not only the special summon off a of dasher but the two draws later on down the line through celestial there's still different options you can play like denier and malicious is a pretty good combo uh, but that requires you to play theoretically a lot more bricks in the deck this wasn't even the only hit though too because if we go to the limited section fuse and destiny also went to one as well part of plant engine is still you know perfectly usable but now you're playing literally one fusion spell which if it gets stopped good luck you know if you're Verte gets Veilard or, you know, these, this gets Ash. You can't summon any of your Destiny Hero monsters if you don't have another polymerization, you know? But not only that, you're playing one fusion spell and you're playing, like, two to three bricks, like, in your deck to make it work. It just doesn't seem like the payoff is finally worth it. This seems like a really good balance. Yeah, Meow is at one uh, to balance out the prank kids, but honestly, I still think the deck is perfectly okay with Meow Mew at one. If you go back, like, a year and a half ago, we literally had a format with Meow Mew at one, and the deck was still really, really good. Uh, it was a little bit different. We had Fusion Destiny, I think, at two at the time, but still, uh, definitely a deck that is, should be on people's radar. Cross Out Designator and Pot of Prosperity are definitely weird one-ofs. Pot of Prosperity is actually really interesting because it makes a lot of decks, like, less consistent. And then Cross Out Designator, I don't really think got the time to even get played i don't even think it was that crazy especially in a best of one is cross up designator really that good uh, yeah, i don't know they did it anyways semi-limited some things went to two i'm pretty sure multi-faker but i don't know was was this out what i don't know bro i didn't even know what this number was at skill drain went to two you know gotta stop some floodgates we already got io vanities is another one that we can tick off tanky has gone to two this is another card i don't even remember what this was at honestly i thought this was at two before what was the other hit they did last time? And then Gazelle's actually at two. I remember this was at one, so this should be really fun to play with at two. Uh, no longer the list. My man, Night Assailant. Let's go, bro. Right, so that's the new Forbidden Limit list. I like it a lot. I think it solves a lot of problems, and it should be fun to explore the meta and the latter in the upcoming months here. Not only is a new season around the corner, but we also have a brand new Dual Pass, baby. Let me see where we're dropping. Oh, man, it's my boy Bitron. Oh, I want him. Immediately, I want him. You only have to get 75 to get him? Hold on. Give me a second. Let me click through. Yeah, you only gotta go 75 to get the pet this time, other than the, uh, the 100. What's at the end, then? Yo. 
12 ultra rares. That's crazy. Cool. So now that we have the groundwork of this series laid out, let's build a couple decks that we should be playing on ladder. I want to have a couple different decks to play just to give a variety of a content. I know there's a couple decks I already have built that are pretty nice. Let's just spruce them up a little bit. Let's actually just start with Prank Kid, right? Like, we're going to cut... <laughs> there's a lot of DPE engines in these decks that I'm going to be cutting out. This is the one where it's like, if this goes to one, like, you could try Deny or Malicious, but you really can't make anything with it besides, like, Access Code Talker, right? Probably just better to cut it, I'd imagine. I'm going to cut the Dash or Celestial FDs, cut the DP, and also the Predaplant, Vertanaconda. Down to one Meow Mew, but like I said, that's not going to at all be a problem for this deck. Let's try to fill in these gaps. One of the things that I see a lot of people complain about with Master Duel is that it's not under, like, the TCG ban list, which is why they really don't want to, like, give it a shot. If you guys have watched the Pack podcast, the Goo cast with Nesh, he had a really, really good point where he pointed out that it's just actually a completely different game, Master Duel. If the game does stick around where it is a best of one, you have to approach deck building in a different way to be able to accommodate for that. It's just literally... Like Pac says, it's a different game. So a lot of things might not like transfer over when we try to apply theory from like TCG or OCG. It's just important to keep in mind that Master Duel, even it's at the very core of it, it's ban list is entirely different. So I think trying going second blowouts, like as you can see, I got the three lightning storms in here, shouldn't be too bad. The hand traps are super versatile going first and second. So I think that's typically where people try to like stuff their deck. But I think these cards aren't too bad either. Definitely something to try with them. I'm gonna be breaking down these decks a little bit more when I decide to play them for a full video. But one of the charms of this deck is that it's able to play so many hand traps. So like I could literally just putting a beer in here it'd probably be fine you know what i actually can play i'm gonna play rocket ride and i'm gonna play instant fusion that's pretty ballin if i do say so myself sometimes i just don't know what to put in the deck and i just literally scroll down to the links just pick one that i think looks good i have no idea what to make the 15th card here i guess i need an underworld goddess we'll make one of these bad girls here put her in okay prank kid deck updated cool what's another one let me check out the spiral deck i think this is still probably gonna be perfect that's a good looking list. I probably could do some fiddling with the hand traps, but we'll get there when we figure out what we're going to be seeing on ladder. This looks pretty good though. Salomon Great, this deck Gazelles is going to be at two instead of one. I only got one Royal. Dude, with scam game. So obviously we're playing DP in this. We're not going to be doing that any longer. Let me cut those cards. Instead, we are going to be able to plug in the second Gazelle. Put it in there. Yeah, oh, not for long. And actually, this deck, since we're playing uh, Flame Buffalo instead of Lady Debug, we can easily slide in the adventure package for this, too. I know that adds a lot of cards to it, but trust me, they're worth it. Probably just cut down on some of the other hand traps here. God, circles at three, two. <laughs> this is so crazy. All right, for the extra deck, I guess Lingaribo is pretty good, right? I don't even know. Um, <laughs> I got one more card I can fit in there. Oh, Baguska. Let's play Baguska. The Terribly Tired Tapir. My man. Cool. Nice 43 card Salomon Great list. Well, it'll be 44 when we plug in the second Gazelle, but pretty good to start off with. I haven't actually checked the Sky Striker deck in a while here. It looks like I was playing DP again before. <laughs> Something else we can cut again. What was I doing with Dagda in the deck? Oh my god, was I really scythe logging people? What was I on? Right, don't think that's going to cut anymore. We can probably cut the Ignitions and the Scythe. Celestial Dasher out of the way with Fusion Destinies. Whatever happened to Kaiser Coliseum? People still play that card? Why not? Why not? Damn, remember people actually said, like, this was easily the best deck in Master Duel? You got three Upstart Goblin, Kaiser Coliseum, double engage. Are you kidding me? Buff out the extra deck a little bit there. And three extra main deck card spaces here? Uh, what do I want to play? Could just play more hand traps. We got the, uh, we could play more Veilers. Why not? Not a bad idea to play more Veilers to pair with the Crush on Hauka Fibrax anyways. Powerful one of Duster to boot there. Pretty nice. I'm really curious, man. Nobody complained about Kaiser Coliseum in a minute. That worries me. I hate how they keep your stupid event decks afterwards. Why Just automatically get rid of them for me. Thank you. Let's see what the Orcus looks like. Again, <laughs> another DPE-driven deck here. This is going to be at one, too. Damn. Don't know if I can touch Orcus. <laughs> I mean, it's so weird because we have Heart Pourer at one, Gearsu at one. Are you kidding me? Galtea at one, too. Ooh, it's a rough one. I think we'll let this, uh, we'll let this one go. Four decks, nice and ready to go. Which one do I want to start with? I probably want to start with the Salomon Great list tomorrow. Oh, I got to put Drago back in. Probably want to start with the Salomon Great deck, honestly, tomorrow. This thing looks the most fun to play. I can get rid of these, cut down the list a little bit. I'm just realizing, how am I not playing Foolish in this deck either? I'm such a silly goose. Put it in. Another huge oversight for the ban list is Hauka Fibrax and Aurorodon being legal. Definitely some crazy plays you can do with like Tenny Synchro or I want to build out a, uh, a three-axis list uh, with maybe the punks, but I, I want to pull um, my stream's opinions on those, I think, before I actually build something. Four decks are ready to go. If you guys needed ideas for the new list, uh, 
I guess you guys are starting there with me. Consider this video the prelude for the series of videos that are going to come out where I grind my way all the way to Diamond 1. Going to do, again, a couple games off stream so I can give you guys some fulfilling content. Maybe teach you guys a little bit about the decks that I built or maybe just go over some theory or something. We'll build it as it goes. I'll be doing a lot of the grinding also on stream at twitch.tv slash nimnim if you guys want to catch me there. You guys can see some of the, uh, the live duels happening. If you've made it this far, uh, watch me pull a B Trooper Giant Atlas with this one pack. God, it's so slow. Oh, let me see it. Oh. Uh, 